both sides. You got a left and a right comma karate. Now, this artery right here, guys, I told you we had two ways to get up in the head. This is your vertebral artery. Guess where that's coming from? This artery. This artery is coming off of your subclavian, left and right. Vertebral artery comes off your subclavian artery, left and right. So now you got two ways to get up here. Okay? So if it's coming off an aortic arch, if your trace says coming off the aortic arch, go to so and so, you know, that you're going by way of what? Your common carotids. Then it'll tell you whether you're going to go left or right. If it says that you're coming off subclavian, then you know you're going vertebral. Mm -hmm. Also in the blood trace, if you see the foramen magnum, if foramen magnum's already there, you know you got to go vertebral. Okay, so you want to, you know, those kind of things will tell you which way you're going. Okay, now. Yes, can you come again? Yes, ma'am. If it comes off the aortic arch, you mm -hmm. go through the common chorotic. If it comes off what? Subclavian, you go through the vertebra. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, see how vertebra comes up through this tran through these transverse foramen, cervical vertebrae, just like on last semester you learned transverse foramen whenever you took this portion. It comes up, see how it comes up in here? And then it curls around right here. See how it curls up through there? That hole right there, foramen magnum. Mm -hmm. Now, it comes up, but cheaper artery on both sides. Then it becomes your basilar. See this branch right here? Anterior inferior cerebellar artery. Anterior inferior cerebellar artery, left and right. Now this artery, don't let it fool you. We didn't, we didn't give you this one. This is your lambertine artery, left and right. That's not on your paper. We didn't give you that one, but this is here. It's running inside the ear, okay? Then you see these two short branches right here, your pontine arteries, one, two, three, four. There's four of them. Now coming on up, this branch right here, here and here, left and right, superior cerebellar artery, right here. Now I'm showing you this because I want to give you what reference to where these arteries are in association with the brain. Because I'm going to be asking you to draw out to some of these areas based on the brain stem, based on your lobes, okay? All right, now, coming up here, this one coming right off here is going to be your posterior cerebral artery. Now, see how this is coming out posterior cerebral and connecting me here? That's your posterior communicating left and right on either side. Now, this is where we're going here. This one right here, this is your in internal carotid. Right here at the tip top, internal carotid. This is showing you your middle cerebral right here. Middle cerebral. Then coming right off of here, going straight up in this direction right here on both sides, your anterior cerebral and the one connecting the two is your anterior communicating artery. Now, from last semester, what lobe sits here? The frontal. frontal lobe. You see that? What lobe sits here? Temporal. Temporal. What lobe sits back here? Occipital. So do you see what I'm saying? As far as these vessels. So if you say, draw me out to the frontal lobe, draw me out to the temporal lobe, draw me out to the occipital lobe, draw me out to the pons, those kind of things. Okay? All right. So this is your circle of Willis. Okay? Okay. Can you so, show that to me because I can't see. Okay.